the world is our oyster. Well, unfortunately, that's the attitude that we've had for far too long, and it's the very attitude that has put us in a rather regrettable situation when it comes to some of our natural resources. These are the 10 resources that we are quickly running out of. Number 10 is tequila. You might like margaritas, but the tequila that goes in the delicious limey beverage is not exactly easy to make. It takes 12 years for blue agave plants to make enough sugar to produce tequila. While this in and of itself slows down the tequila making process, there is another factor that has to do with the drink's global shortage. This factor is disease. Over 20% of Mexico's harvest was affected in the year 2007. While there is stock to assure that we never completely run out, the price of tequila will continue to skyrocket until the blue agave plants can be properly harvested once more. Number 9 is natural gas. Natural gas is what we use to heat our homes, our stovetops, and sometimes even how we generate electricity. Unfortunately, it is also in short supply. As of this year, our natural gas reserves only have enough to last the world a little over 52 years. Considering we have a number of uses for natural gas, we need to find a solid alternative and we'll need to find it soon. Number 8 is coal. While it may seem like we don't use coal much anymore, the truth is that we actually do. Many westernized countries like the United States have steered away from coal use, but less regulated countries such as China continue to use the fossil fuel like there's no tomorrow. Developing countries have enough coal reserves to last for just 183 years, but fortunately, the United States has a little longer, 256 years to be exact, though we can only hope that the country will cease coal use altogether before then. Number 7 is Scandium and Terbium. Scandium and Terbium are two of the 17 rare earth elements that the world is quickly losing. These rare elements have a number of uses. You can find them inside of everyday electronics, in the magnets used to power wind turbines, and even in fluorescent lighting. While we do not seem to have a shortage of smartphones, that doesn't mean that the parts inside of them come cheaply. 97% of these elements come from China. The country not only controls the market for these rare earth elements, but it also controls most of the world's reserves. This means that China has the power to cut off those supplies at any time, which is a detail that should concern techies everywhere. Number 6 is Phosphorus. Whether you knew it or not, we need phosphorus. We use this chemical to make fertilizer, meaning it is largely responsible for how we feed most of the planet. If we do not find an alternative, we could run out of phosphorus and enter a food shortage in as little as 30 years. As China continues to hoard this resource, its price continues to rise by about 2.3% or more every year. Just between 2007 and 2008, the price of phosphorus went up 700%. Countries are becoming so desperate for this important resource that they are going to extraordinary lengths. Sweden has actually created toilets that collect phosphorus from human urine. Now that's desperation. You may have noticed that the price of bacon has risen significantly in the past few years. That is because we are in the middle of a worldwide bacon shortage. Pork products have kept increasing in price ever since a virus took over the lives of millions of pigs a few years ago. Luckily for butchers, many people will continue to purchase the delicious breakfast food despite the high cost. Number 4 is oil. Also known as black gold, oil is in short supply. In fact, the general public could face an oil crisis as soon as the year 2035 if we don't make serious changes to the global transportation industry. Considering we already have alternative fuels such as ethanol, there's no reason for us to continue to avoid this quickly approaching disaster. Number 3 is antibiotics. Antibiotics are pertinent to maintaining public health, but to our misfortune, these drugs have been in a drastic shortage since 2007. Several different factors have led to this catastrophe, including regulations, inability to find raw materials, and even bad business decisions. Unfortunately, this particular public health crisis does not look like it will be ending anytime soon. In fact, some of these pharmaceuticals have been in limited supply for almost 2,000 days. That's five and a half years. Number two is chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate, but unfortunately, you're going to have to pay for that love eventually. Cocoa beans only grow in a very particular region of the world. To be specific, they only seem to thrive in latitudes within a 10 degree radius from the equator. Since West Africa produces most of the world's cocoa, the average cocoa farmer only makes about 80 cents a day. As this region of the world begins to develop, 
farmers will rightfully demand more for their labor and the cost of chocolate will only begin to increase. Number one is water. Currently, 2.8 billion people are unable to find clean, fresh water. Sadly, it does not look like the situation is going to be improving anytime soon. Safe drinking water is becoming increasingly scarce as we stretch the planet's few freshwater resources. Other contributors to this global problem include water pollution, overdrafting of groundwater, and even war. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching, and thanks for learning.